what up guys bass drop keys your frilly neighborhood negro and a rookie mycologist as you guys know i'm brand new to the mushroom community i've been making mushroom content about two months now and it finally happened the dreaded c word contamination i was actually going through the tent and doing the shake and break on the rest of the bags that i have inoculated as i was going through and shaking each bag i came across this this is a grain spawn bag that i inoculated with a multi-spore syringe and you can see that it's clearly contaminated now i inoculated three total bags with the same multi-spore syringe that's showing contamination right here this is another bag that i inoculated with the same multi-spore syringe and it's not showing any signs of contamination right now also i inspected the rest of the bags whenever i was doing the shake and break and this is the only bag that's showing contamination so right there you can see the healthy bag and then this is the contaminated bag what you're looking at is a classic case of trichoderma trichoderma is a green mole that preys on other fungi mycelium it's real easy to tell what it is because of that vibrant blue green color out of all the different types of contamination that you can have it's probably one of the easiest to identify because of the color so what i did was i put this bag in four different other bags and sealed it up i did this because i didn't want to risk it spreading to other different bags you know i have a lot of things going on inside this tent right now and so just to make sure it didn't spread anywhere i put it in the four other bags sealed it up and disposed of it immediately now let's talk about ways to avoid contamination one way is by being very clean and sterile with everything you do that's why you see everybody that's working with mushrooms always has 70 percent isopropyl alcohol ready to go so they can sterilize and clean everything that's also why you see people using laminar flow hoods and steel air boxes whenever they're working with mushrooms just to make sure that the air around their work area is not contaminated in any way. Also, if you're somebody like me that's using multi-spore syringes, you can actually test them to make sure they're free of contaminants before you start inoculating your grain. What you're looking at right here is sterilized agar plates, and you see a multi-spore syringe right there. If I'm gonna be inoculating some grain, or using the Uncle Ben's tech for that matter, and I wanna make sure that the multi-spore syringe is free of contaminants, what I would do is I would take my syringe, my multi-spore syringe, and I would put some of it on the agar plate and actually let the mycelium start growing on the agar plate. Once the mycelium starts growing on the agar plate, you can clearly see if it's contaminated or not. If it is contaminated, you can take some healthy mycelium from that agar plate and transfer it to another one. If it's not contaminated, you can actually let the agar plate get colonized and you can actually do agar to grain transfers where you take some of this agar, you put it inside of your grain and the mycelium from the agar will actually colonize the grain that you're using. You can also do grain to grain transfer if you guys didn't know. But anyway, back to the agar plates. If you do like I did on the channel and you take a multi-spore syringe and you just inoculate 10, 12, 15 bags of rice and that spore syringe is contaminated then that mean that all of your bags can be contaminated and you just wasted all that time and energy and you're not going to get any reward out of it any benefit basically whenever you use a syringe and you don't test it on agar you're rolling the dice because that syringe could be contaminated all of the things that i'm describing right now i will be showing you on the channel I will also talk more about agar plates coming up shortly here whenever we start our work with our spore prints. But all of that is for upcoming videos. If you want to support me and the channel, come over to the rookiemycologist.com. I have some great merch on the site that everybody is loving. I want to thank everybody that's already put in your orders. So if you're looking for a hoodie, t-shirt, slides, stickers, we have a lot of great merch on the site. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, I'm out, guys. Much love. Rookie out.